What's up, Bigger Pockets? Alex Felice here. Today I drove three hours to come tell you a story about a fantastic Bigger Pockets community member, a staple in the forums, Natalie Kalati, my good friend. I met Natalie after a few years in real estate investing because I had a frustration, a pain point in my business that I know many people share with me. I talked to my tax accountant once a year. They never knew what I was doing. I didn't have any kind of relationship with them and it was, it was like pulling teeth trying to get them to give me any advice throughout the year. So I said, I'm going to befriend somebody that knows this stuff so that I can parlay that friendship into some tax advice. Lo and behold, Natalie and I became friends over the last three years or so. Today was actually the first time that we meet in person and I'm extremely excited that I get to share her story with you. She's an investor, she's a tax pro, and she's in the Bigger Pockets community like few others. She produces content for them, she writes for them, she's been on The Money Show, she's a moderator. She's amazing and we're gonna meet her right now. Hey Bigger Pockets, my name is Natalie Kalati. I am the founder and real estate tax strategist at Kaladi Tax and Consulting, and I am from Charlotte, North Carolina. I have been on Bigger Pockets for over six years now. Today I'm actually here, not at an investment property, we're not walking through a project. I am here at the super fancy headquarters of Kaladi Tax and Consulting. It's my primary home. Bigger Pockets has let me build a brand and build a company that works with investors all around the world. Because of that, I don't need a brick and mortar office, there's not a purpose for it. The snoring you hear is actually my bulldog, so I want to invite you in to see where I do taxes and come meet my dog. I got started in real estate when my roommate came home and told me about a free seminar. How great, right? We got to go to a free seminar and I knew I always wanted to be involved with real estate, didn't know how to start, so we went to that and then foolishly got sold on the two-day bonus training. So that was the start of my real estate journey, was doing exactly what you shouldn't do. While there, we got to learn all of the super important stuff about how easy wholesaling was, how to max out our credit cards to pay for the next level of training, and we were taught just how you'd only have to do a couple deals a month to pretty much retire from your nine to five job. None of that works. None of that worked well at all. So we left there and had a new kind of plan of figuring out how we could apply this to another area of real estate, to something else that would work and that is how we got started in mobile and manufactured homes. I never heard about investors working with these, so now it was time to figure out if that was because they were a terrible investment or just not as sexy as flipping a high dollar home. We placed an ad online that just said we purchased mobile and manufactured homes in any condition. Any that were listed on Craigslist, we set up an RSS feed so we would get notifications when a mobile was listed under a certain price point. So while we were starting our mobile home flipping business, I had actually just graduated college and began working at local CPA firms. So I was working on my tax career and due to my interest in real estate, I ended up really becoming very specialized and was given a lot of those clients. So at the same time as I was flipping trailers in the evening, I was doing taxes all day. And after doing that for several years, that's when I led to opening my own firm in 2017. Bigger Pockets ended up overlapping for me with both of my businesses. After I took the Guru course, I had obviously a lot of unanswered questions, and Googling those is how I actually came across the Bigger Pockets website originally. It was answered in a thread. It's a great community, great content, great people sharing that. At the same time, like I said, I was working in tax, so I would spend my lunch breaks browsing the forums and answering tax questions for people while learning about flipping mobile homes. Really, for me, Bigger Pockets helped me with both businesses. Since then, I've been a regular on the forums, I've been on the Bigger Pockets Money podcast, and I am currently a moderator for the Bigger Pockets forums and Facebook groups. I think a lot of people, when they think of their tax professional, they think of kind of a button up suit and tie in an office. And what I found is that if you're the kind of person who's kind of taking a different path, you're investing in real estate, you're forging your own future, 
You want people who run their business in the same way. I do a lot of taxes for a lot of clients, and a lot of the time I'm working right out here by the pool. So most people come to Bigger Pockets to learn and learn about investing in real estate and all of that good stuff. I think a really big mix, missed area is people don't realize you can find people to work with and find your vendors on Bigger Pockets as well. It's really important that if you own a business related to real estate or if you're looking for someone with a business related to real estate, that you check Bigger Pockets. So what I'd recommend is building a farm. It sounds silly, but you wanna plant those seeds. Just spend your time with the community. Talk to people, learn about them, learn what they do, and you're just gonna find who the best match is to work with. You'll find an agent that you personally kind of click with. You're gonna be able to find contractors who you would work well with and who are in your area. Someone might be great at what they do, but not work the same way you do. You might just not work well together. So using bigger pockets to find your vendors is one of the biggest tools you can have in your toolbox. Sometimes when I'm working on your taxes, I might actually be here in bed. Sometimes when I'm doing your taxes, I might also be getting in a little bit of exercise. But most of the time I'm doing your taxes here at my desk. When it comes to real estate, taxes are one of the best incentives for this avenue of investing. There are huge tax benefits and you wanna make sure that you are in a position to take advantage of them. What's really important is that when you're picking a tax professional to work with you and your real estate, Every CPA you call is gonna say, oh yeah, yeah, we work with landlords, no big deal. But that doesn't mean that they understand real estate. Knowing taxes is something that's gonna help you look at real estate differently, and that's what it did for me. When I look at a deal, I'm not just looking at cash flow, I'm not just looking at ROI, I'm looking at the big picture. And you can too, knowing these numbers and making sure you have a grasp of how taxes are gonna interact with your deal should be part of your analysis. You don't wanna just look at you know, run your deal through the bigger pockets calculator and look at just cash flow and base solely on that. There are situations where the tax impact from a property, the amount of depreciation you get, can actually put you in a deal that's kind of better than it looked at first, or there might be a deal that's not as good, or when you're looking side by side. So having an understanding of the tax impact of your real estate is really gonna be a component of your deal analysis as you grow that becomes more and more important. The bigger your portfolio gets and the more you're investing, the more these kind of additional um, data points are gonna come into your deal and what's important to know. When it comes to your tax person, find someone that doesn't just know taxes, but that kind of matches up with your goals and what you're doing. Not just, not just real estate, right? But as a overall life choice, right? Like, I love to travel. I work remotely, as soon as tax season's over, I take a cruise. The last cruise I was on, I started getting down a rabbit hole about deducting taxes on cruises, and I did a Facebook Live from the coast of the Bahamas for my clients about how you can potentially write off a cruise. I love traveling, I love meeting people from all over the world, and that parlays over to Bigger Pockets. I've met so many interesting people through Bigger Pockets, and it just helps you to really build a team, but also just build relationships with people. It's gonna help you talk to people about the things you're passionate about and that you love doing. I now know people on Bigger Pockets who have lived overseas. I'm now friends with people who are also tax professionals who go on cruises all the time. So you build this kind of community on the boards and off the boards, so it's business building, but it also helps by having yourself surrounded by like-minded people. Whether you love rescuing dogs, which I do, or traveling around, or maybe your only hobby is building tiny toy trains. If that is your hobby, we won't be able to talk about it, but we can still talk about your taxes. But there might be a tax person who also loves tiny trains. So what I'm saying is there's so many people on Bigger Pockets that it's important to build actual people-to-people -people relationships, not just business-to-business. -business. Find a person who adds value and adds overall happiness to your life, who you're gonna talk about about things more than real estate. Because when you have that kind of base relationship built, that's what's going to lead you to new people and new opportunities and new life experiences. So Bigger Pockets really offers you a variety of people for all of that. Get outside your comfort zone, meet some new people, build a new friend group. I'm Natalie Kalati of Kalati Tax and Consulting. I love taxes, real estate, and wonky bulldogs. This wonky bulldog is Moo. She loves chewing on Benny Bones, sleeping till 4 p.m., and snoring during podcasts. Ha <laughs>